So in this video here, we're going to see how we can train a custom Yolo V10 model on our own data set. I'm going to show you the whole pipeline, how we can take a data set, upload it into Google Colab Notebook, use the free GPU in there, train a model, train the Yolo V10 model with the Autolytics framework. So it is now supported in there. That means that we can train these Yolo V10 models in just a few lines of code. I already have another video where we go through the whole pipeline, how you can generate the images and so on. So definitely check that video out. And then we use the code from the Yolo V10 GitHub repository. But in this video, we're going to use the Autolytics framework so we can do it in just a few clicks. So let's just jump straight into my RoboFlow datasets. Let's just go in and take this cup dataset um, that I already had used in some of the previous videos. So right now I just have a bunch of images in here. You just need to capture them. I have tons of videos about that. I even have scripts on my GitHub, um, different repositories. So right now we just have a bunch of images that we have labeled. Here we have around 200 images and we have even used some data augmentation. So this is basically just a model that we want to train to be able to take these cops. You can use an arbitrary number of different objects. You can test out on your own data set and so on, but RoboFlow is really easy to use and also annotate. So right now we can go up and export our data set. We just need to choose the Yolo V9 format and we can show the downloadable code. We just get a code snippet here. We can throw it directly into our Google Colab notebook. It will take care of all the data set, download it, export it into our notebook and we're good to go. So now I've just copied it. Let's go inside our Google Colab notebook. So this is just a Google Colab notebook from scratch. I'm just going to copy paste this one directly in here. Before we connect to the runtime, make sure that you go up and choose the free GPU available. So we have a T4 GPU, so we can train our own custom Yolo V10 model in here on a GPU. So now I'm going to hit save, we connect to the runtime and we're pretty much good to go. We're going to pip install RoboFlow and set up our project with our data set. And the only thing that we need is to pip install Autolytics as well. So I'm just going to write that code here or we can just do it up here as well together with RoboFlow. So now we're connected to the runtime. Let's just hit start. So we pip install RoboFlow, we pip install Autolytics. It's going to set up our whole project and also data set. While it's doing that, let's just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. And now we have our train mode. If we go inside the modes tab up here at the top, we then have training. If you scroll a bit further down, you can also go in and see all the different models, but you can either call the command lines or the Python scripts. With Autolytics, we only need to specify a few lines of code and it will take care of all of it automatically for us. We also have a bunch of videos in here, so I'm creating the videos for Autolytics as well. So definitely go in and check those out and subscribe to the Autolytics YouTube channel. If you go inside the different models, you can see all the models available and we now have the YOLO V10 model, which is the nearest version in the YOLO family. If you just go a little bit further down, we can see all the benchmarks and so on, and also how you can use it both for training and also prediction on new images. So I'm just going to grab this code. There we go. You can also use the command line directly. Let's go back in here. We have now extracted our data set. I'm just going to copy paste the code. We can specify the nano model, but right now uh, here we're going to use PT because we want to use a pre-trained model. There we go. And then we just need to specify our YAML file from RoboFlow. Train for 30 epochs. Let's go over inside our data directory. We have our cup also data set one. We have our test, train, and validation split. And we also have our data YAML file. So inside each of these folders, we have our images and also our labels. So here we can see we have all these images, and these are the exact same ones as I showed you inside the RoboFlow website. We have our labels in the YOLO V9 format. So we have the class and then we have the bounding boxes here normalized to the image resolution. If you go down into our data YAML file, I normally just like to copy paste the paths here. So we make sure that these are correct. So here we have test and we act like need the images. Let me just copy that path. There we go. And we have our train and we also have our valid. So we just change the path here. We have valid. And then we have train, then we're hundred percent sure that we won't get any errors in here. If you're getting errors, it is most likely because of the path here. So now we have our data YAML file. The only thing that we need to specify is copy paste the path, throw it in here instead of the Coco eight. There we go. We can now start training a model. We import YOLO, we create an instance of our YOLO model with new YOLO V10 nano model, model dot train, specify the data epoch image size there's a bunch of different arguments that you can specify but we can see all of that inside the autolytics documentation if you go inside train and just scroll all the way down we have our model data epochs time patient batch size 
all that can be specified in here. Maybe we should specify the batch size to eight as well. Let me just make sure that this is actually like the correct. So batch, there we go, batch, and the default is 16. If you run out of memory, it is most likely because of the batch size. So just change that to eight, should be good enough. So yeah, this is all we need. We have our data set. We have our Google Colab notebook with a free GPU. Let's now hit start training. Here we got an error. So let me just make sure, no module name autolytics. Let's just make sure that this is act like uh, I misspelled it up here. Let's just put it in here, ultra lit text. There we go. And then it's just going to pip install that module. Make sure that you're running on the newest version. So if you already have it installed on your local environment, make sure that you actually like upgrade the pip package or uninstall it and install it again. So you make sure that you have the newest version with the YOLO v10 model support as well. So yeah, let's just wait until we have installed Autolytics. After that, we can just directly run this block of code again, and we should be good to go. It will start training our model. We can then download our model, take a look at the results, the training graphs, export our model using our own applications and projects. So now we can see that the model has started training. It will download it automatically, check for your data set. So here we can see that we have 184 images in our training set, and it's going to do the exact same thing for our validation set, set up all the optimizers, all the high parameters, and it will start the training. You can see the live results in here for every epoch. So now we can see that our model is done training. If we just go all the way up to the top, we will be able to see all the different epochs per epoch. Just going to drag it up here. There we go. Then we can basically just see we start up here at epoch one. We can see the mean hours position, the losses and so on. They're basically just decreasing over time. So we just run it for 30 epochs. At the end here, we're going to be able to see all the results. So the mean hours positions, you can see them coming up here, basically just converging at the end. So this is actually like a pretty good model, but again, it is also relatively simple objects that we want to detect. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we can see all the images. So this is the validation that is going to run afterwards. We have 13 images in our validation set. We can see our precision and recall, which is pretty good here. Ideally, we want it as close as possible to one, the mean house position 0.50 and also mean house position of 0.50 to 0.95 is also pretty good. If you go over to the left, we now have a new folder, it's called runs, detect, and inside our detect folder, we have our train, wait, so this is the exact same thing as with all the other YOLO models from Autolytics, but this is the new YOLO v10 model. Then you're gonna download your best wait file, and then you can use that in your own applications and projects. You also get all different curves here. So you get your F1 curve, you get your precision recall curve, which we want ideally all the way up here, but this is still very good results. We're gonna take a look at the results PNT. So these are the losses and the mean error positions, basically just increasing over the number of epochs, converging here at the end. We can also go down and take a look at the validation batches. So this is a validation batch zero, where we just does this, prediction. So these images, the model has never seen these images before. Those are from a validation set and we do a pretty good job. We pretty much detect all the cops in here. I already have videos covering like how you can take the model, throw into your own custom Python script, write all the code, extract the results. So definitely check those videos out. If you just want to test it out fast and just throw in a few images, you can just go in and do that with Autolytics as well or else go in, check out the other videos that I have on my channel. But if we go inside our predict mode, we can scroll a bit further down. Here you can see how we can extract the results, but we can just grab this part. There we go, paste it in here, we get the path. So we copy paste the path. Instead of using a pre-trained model, we now have our own custom best weights model. And for the image here, we just need to specify the source. Let's go up and grab one from our data set. So let's take one from our test set images. Let's just copy paste the first one. There we go. And now we're pretty much good to go. We can just hit save. True. And we might even be able to show it directly in here in a Google Colab notebook. If you're using a Python script, it will show it automatically. If you set show equal to true. So let's just run the program here. So right now we can see that it doesn't support im show, but we can see that the results are stored inside this run to take predict folder. We have the tech train and now we also have predict. So let's go inside predict, then we have a prediction here. So it's just going to take this image here, throw it through the model, it display the results and we're pretty much good to go. So this is the output from a model. We have trained a custom object detection model with the new YOLO v10 model. Definitely check it out on your own data set. You can use RoboFlow to annotate your images or any other labeling tool out there. 
this is how easy it is with just a few clicks we can have a whole custom Yolvi 10 but you can do the exact same thing with Yolvi 9, Yolvi 8 and all the other models directly available from Autolytics so this is pretty cool take your data set, refine it, evaluate your model few clicks we're good to go we can now set up whole computer vision pipelines and applications definitely go ahead and check out the other videos i have on the channel we run like live inference with custom models how we can apply optic tracking on top of it as well and then i'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos until then happy training if you want to get into an ai career you should definitely check out my ai career program the program is basically all my experiences from how i went from an average student to where i am today the program consists of three main categories we have my technical courses my personal branding course and then the ai career path we have a whole community in there with like-minded people supporting each other and every week we will have weekly live calls where i support and help all of you guys over time more courses resources code templates and so on will be added to the program you will give lifetime access so the sooner you join the more value you will get for your money let me help you take your ai career to the next levels